great mercy, the compassion. Eccellenza, buongiorno. buongiorno. Buongiorno a tutti. Vorrevo prima di tutto, prima di iniziare questa celebrazione, dirle grazie. Eh, grazie per questa bellissima opportunità che ci ha dato. Noi siamo qui a Darwin e siamo felici di entrare in relazione con questa bellissima comunità. Sono 13 ragazzi che oggi chiedono da lei di essere confermati nella fede, ragazzi che annunciano il Vangelo con semplicità nel lavoro di tutti i giorni, eh? come lei ci insegna. La semplicità, ecco, come dire, dà, mette al centro il cuore di ogni persona. Quindi, ecco, grazie delle parole e del pane che spezzerà con noi e grazie ancora per tutti voi, per coloro i quali hanno reso questo momento bello e dimenticabile. Grazie ancora, eccellenza. Grazie a tutti. As the chaplain has been saying to us a vote of thanks for accepting them with us here today as we support these young people on their faith journey. Now we recognize the compassion, the mercy of God as we sing in the ancient Kyrie eleison, in the ancient Greek language of the church. Riconosciamo i nostri peccati, ma anche l'amore del nostro Dio. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us into healing and life everlasting. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we now listen to the Word of God with our ears and our hearts. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. In view of the extraordinary nature of these revelations, to stop me from getting too proud, I was given a thorn in the flesh, an angel of Satan to beat me and stop me from getting too proud. About this thing, I have pleaded with the Lord three times for Sorry. <laughs> A reading from the prophet Amos. Amazar, the priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Go away, seer. Get back to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there. Do your prophesying there. Prophesizing there. We want no more prophesying in Bethel. This is the royal sanctuary, the national temple. I was no prophet, neither, neither did I belong to any of the brotherhoods of prophets. Amos replied to Amaziah, I was a shepherd and I looked after sycamores, but it was the Lord who took me from herding the flock and the Lord who said, go prophesy to my people Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory would dwell in our land. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, is ble who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ, to be holy and spotless, and to live through love in his presence, determining that we should become his adopted sons through Jesus Christ, for his own kind purposes to make us praise the glory of his grace, his free gift to us in the beloved, in whom, through his blood, we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. Such is the richness of the grace which he has showered on us in all wisdom and insight. He has let us know the mystery of his purpose, the hidden plan he so kindly made in Christ from the beginning to act upon when the times had run their course to the end, that he would bring everything together under Christ as head, everything in the heavens and everything on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Please stand to welcome the gospel. Christ, enlighten the eyes of our heart, that we might see the hope to its were called. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark glory Jesus. to you O Lord I'm trying to teach him to proclaim from around his stories yesterday it like that. He does it from here. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no haversack, no coppers for their purses. They were to wear sandals, but he added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, If you enter a house anywhere, stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you, and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance, and they cast out many devils, and anointed many sick people with oil, and cured them. The Gospel is now read in Italian. Dal Vangelo secondo Marco. Glory a te, O oh Signore. In quel tempo Gesù chiamò a sé i dodici e prese a mandarli a due a due e dava loro potere sugli spiriti impuri e ordinò loro di non prendere per il viaggio nient'altro che un bastone, né pane, né sacca, né denaro nella cintura, ma di calzare sandali e di non portare due tuniche. E diceva loro, Dovunque entriate in una casa, rimanetevi, finché non sarete partiti di lì. Se in qualche luogo non vi accogliessero e non vi ascoltassero, andatevene e scuotete la polvere sotto i vostri piedi come testimonianza per loro. Ed essi, partiti, proclamarono che la gente si convertisse, scacciavano molti demoni ungevano con olio molti infermi e li guarivano. Parola del Signore. Lode a te, o Cristo. Please be seated. And Father will now present the candidates to me who are about to be confirmed. Si presentino coloro i quali dovranno ricevere il sacramento della confermazione. Setola Gennaro, Longo Emanuele, La Corte Simone, Dandria Nicole, Putignano Giovanni, Cotrufo Matilde, 
Polare Clara, Tamburrano Vito, Fasulo all'Alberto Maria, Danza Alessandro, Panerai Giulia, Barone Nadia, Di Gregorio Miriana. Eccellenza, sono qui. Grazie Padre Prispi, sedete per favore. I'll say a couple of words in Italian, then I'll give the normal homily. Cari fratelli e sorelle, sono molto contento di ministrare con voi il sacramento della confermazione. La confermazione, come ha detto ieri, è la seconda parte del battesimo. Il, il, il battesimo è un privilegio grande di conoscere Gesù come la nostra via, la verità e la vita. Gesù che dà l'energia necessaria di essere propriamente vera umani, umani come il desiderio del Creatore. E in Gesù troviamo la vera pace, la vera vita. E se noi viviamo secondo il Vangelo, troviamo noi stessi, troviamo anche il più migliore mezzo di vivere in questa vita. Così, cari amici, Continuate ogni giorno di parlare con Gesù in preghiera, di frequentare i sacramenti come aiuti, come cibo spirituale, di essere i tuoi testimoni nel mondo. Non soltanto quanto è facile, ma anche qualche volta quanto è difficile di vivere la vita cristiana. Così continuiamo con il suo aiuto di sempre vivere con Lui la nostra via, la vita e la verità. Jesus sends the apostles out. It's almost like as if he's sending them out to fail. Don't take any haversack, don't take any money, don't take a spare tunic, just go out and proclaim and heal as I'm telling you to do. He's reminding the apostles that Jesus is indeed their energy and their strength. That is by the power of God that they are able to live the Christian life. By the power of God that they are living as apostles proclaiming the good news. And we, my dear sisters and brothers, each one of us, in our own different vocations, share in the mission of the Apostles. And we are reminded today, as we celebrate Confirmation, to live our Confirmation. Our Confirmation gives us the energy and the grace we need to live our Christian life, which is not just for us. Our Christian life is never just about me and God. It's not just about me getting to heaven. It's about all of us working together so that God's plan is achieved in the world. And God's plan is intimacy with us that we share in the amazing miracle of the love of God. And we are called <coughs> to help others also discover what this means. By the way, we respect them, love them, care for them. And by the way, we live the Christian life, not just when it's easy, but even when it's hard. Being a Christian is about being fully human. Being a Christian is about being who we are meant to be. The way of life of Jesus that he gave us in the gospel is nutrition. It's a balanced diet of how we can be free, free from sin, free from whatever oppresses us. And we are called to be ambassadors of Christ for others. So in a few moments, these young people will be asked to renew their baptism promises. It's a chance for us all to renew our baptism promises. I'll explain a little bit because the actual rite, uh, quite a bit of it will be in Italian, not all of it, but a bit of it, but I'll guide you through it. So you're invited to say no to sin and yes to living the Christian life. un semicircolo qui, come abbiamo fatto ieri. I'm going now to invite our candidates to renew their baptism promises. The response, they will say, renuncio or credo, which means I renounce and I believe, 
and we all are invited to say, I do. The first one is about rejecting evil, sin, and the devil. The others are about a summary of the creed, where we say we believe in God, in Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Catholic Church, the resurrection from the dead, and we want to live the Christian life. Credete in rinunciate a Satana e tutte le sue opere e seduzioni. And now the rest is the positive ones about our Christian belief. Credete in Dio Padre Omnipotente, Creatore del Cielo e della Terra. Credo. Credete in Gesù Cristo, suo unico Figlio, nostro Signore, che nasque da Maria Vergine, morì e fu sepolto e resuscitato dai morti e sede alla destra del Padre. Credo. Credete nello Spirito Santo che è Signore dalla vita e oggi per mezzo del sacramento della confermazione è in modo speciale a voi conferito come già agli Apostoli nel giorno di Pentecoste. Credo. Credete nella Santa Chiesa Cattolica, la comunione dei Santi, la remissione dei peccati, la resurrezione della carne e la vita eterna? Credo. Questa è la nostra fede, questa è la fede della Chiesa e noi ci gloriamo di professarla in Cristo Gesù Cristo Signore. Amen. This is our faith and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, we now pray to God the Almighty Father for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts, and through his anointing, confirm them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Ha chiesto a questa comunità di pregare per voi. I'm now going to pray the prayer of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit in Italian to come upon these young people. Dio Omnipotente, Padre del Signore nostro Gesù Cristo, che hai rigenerato questi tuoi figli dall'acqua, dallo Spirito Santo, liberandoli dal peccato, infondi in loro il tuo Spirito Paraclito, Spirito di sapienza e di intelletto, Spirito di consiglio e di fortezza, Spirito di scienza e di pietà, e riempiti dello Spirito del tuo Santo Timore, per Cristo nostro Signore. Incense reminds us of our God-given dignity as the beloved sons and daughters. Incense faccio ricordare che noi siamo i figli di Dio con la dignità dei cristiani. Let us pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, much more than a duty and good for our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you bestow gifts suited to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you come unfailingly to her aid so that with a heart always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy, through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy and faithful. 
Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, 
so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity. Foster her growth in the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the peace and the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain always with you. Amen. Go in peace and proclaim the gospel by your life. Thanks be to God. Oh.